Great. So how would you do it if the x there's an x squared, a quadratic term, essentially? So let's take a look at the picture first. So if I can get the pen to work, I will look at the picture. Um, essentially, I don't know if it's the midpoint, so I'm just going to put the dot there. C A T, so it's segment cat. Uh, now I need to write the you know segment section. C T is equal to C A plus A T. Now in the example, x squared is given. C A is 3x minus 4, and A T is 4x minus 8. Now. The reality is still going to go about solving it in a similar fashion at first. So I need to combine like terms. 3 plus 4 is 7x. Negative 4 minus 8 is negative 12. Now it's kind of like that stumping place. Where do I go from here? Well, I do know that if I have x squared and some numbers, if I can set it equal to 0, I can see if it'll factor. So I'm going to go back into my Algebra 1 tool chest a little bit and uh, see if I can get everything else to one side of the equation. So I'm going to subtract 7x from both sides. It cancels it here, but on this side it just becomes x squared minus 7x equals negative 12. I need to get rid of negative 12, so I'm going to add 12. The opposite of minus is plus, that whole thing. There's where my line would be, in case if you'd seen anything else I'd done. So none of these can combine, so it becomes x squared minus 7x plus 12 equals 0. Now, going back into what uh, you, you hopefully remember from Algebra 1, you have to do a little bit of factoring here. And if you haven't seen factoring, um, I have some stuff on it. Lots of people do. It's called factoring quadratics. There's even a quadratics playlist. This would be one where the uh, coefficient in front of the x squared is 1. I think somebody, that probably should be mentioned. Now, what I'm going to do is look at this sign first and it says okay my answer choice is it's going to be x something times x something this sign says they're both going to be the same thing this sign says they're both going to be minus so I need to think of a factor list for 12 that will give me uh, when I add the two factors together because they're the same sign 7 so 1 and 12 2 and 6 3 and 4 well 3 plus 4 is 12 so this goes here this goes here that's the factored form, and sets equal to 0. Now, individually, I'm going to set them equal to 0 so I can get an answer. x minus 3 is equal to 0. x minus 4 is equal to 0. So add 4 here. There's a possible answer. And there's a possible answer. So if you do this and you get a negative answer, obviously that is an extraneous answer. You don't use it. So if you this was negative 3 and positive 4, the only answer you could work in is 4. The 3 won't work. Uh, so that wouldn't be a possible answer to this question because you can't have negative distances. Now, what I'm going to do is go back into my equation and just to test and just test these two to make sure that they, you know, say what they're supposed to say. So this says so we'll do 4 first. So it would be 4 squared minus 3. I'll just skip to this 7x minus 12 stage. That'll be easier. So 7 times 4 minus 12. Well, 4 squared is 16. Uh, 7 times 4 is 28 minus 12. If I were to work that out, it would be 16. So things are looking good so far. 4 is a possible answer to this. Uh, on the other side of it, x squared, actually I should change color here. Not that I love changing color, but if I'm going to test something out that's separate near that, I should probably do it. So x squared equals 7x minus 12. Uh, 3 squared equals 7 times 3 minus 12. Uh, so 9 here, 7 times 3 is of course 21. And if you take 10 away from 21, you end up with 11. And you take 2 more away, that would be 10, 11. So, or, sorry, if you take 2 more away, it would be 10, 9, so 9. 
So in this case, you have two answers. X can either be 3 or it could be 4, and it will meet the requirements of the segment addition postulate. But as I was saying before, if you do a little factoring and you find out that one of them is negative, kick that one out. You can't have negative distances. Uh, otherwise, you know, it wouldn't make any sense because of the fact that distant, uh, negative positive represents direction, like at negative would be going the opposite of the, whatever the positive direction is, so say west, and you don't measure distance in three degrees west, that doesn't make any sense, you just want to know how long it is, so there you go, hopefully this helps.